folks, welcome back. Um, this is sort of part two to the windmill um, video. Janet asked a question in my uh, original one about how, if the height of the windmill affects how much power it's got. And I didn't actually know the answer to that, so I thought I would take the time to find out. Uh, because in other games like Minecraft or Space Engineers, the higher you go, the more power that you get from things like windmills or whatever the uh, Space Engineers equivalent um, engine that you're using is. So I've jumped back into my creative world and I have built a three high. Now structural integrity is on, which is why this is sort of shaped the way it is because it's the only way that I can keep it from falling over. And you can see just at a glance there, the bottom one is turning much slower than the middle one. And the top one is turning almost as quick as the middle one. But the big difference is with the top one, it's actually running two, as I run into that, it's actually running two sawmills. So you can see there both of the sawmills are operating as the, the little bits and pieces go up and down. And in fact, if you have a look at the speed that they're going up and down, and then we come down to here so that's definitely going up and down a lot quicker but if we come down to this one that's going down even slower than the top two are going um, up and down so height obviously definitely equals power uh, I haven't put a second one on here to see whether that will work or not because well, quite frankly, every time I've tried to do that, the whole thing's fallen apart. And it's taken me about 15 minutes to get it back together again. So um, if somebody wants to have a play with that, then feel free. But I'm sort of out of time. So it was just a quick one to see if I could answer Janet's question because it had me intrigued. Um, so there you go. Um, and unfortunately, there is no way to actually, in this short space split off uh, a third one to actually see whether it would operate a third um, sawmill. Uh, there is only uh, these types of uh, mechanical splitters at the moment so you can only split it off into two directions. So that's answered that question and I hope that's been interesting for folks. Uh, particularly for radio, you're going to be fairly high up off the ground, so I would think you're going to have a fair bit of power uh, available. Now the other thing that I did was, turn my flying off, the other thing that I did was I actually ran this one out all the way and you can go six blocks before the power stops. So six if you work on the big boy blocks or the number fives six of these with these connected and this a single saw bench will uh, sawmill will no longer operate so that's the distance that you've got to be able to um, traverse now there's no drop as you get to four or five or whatever uh, there's no drop to um, the speed at which this operates, it just stops. So there you go, a little bit of info about the power transfer as well. Hope that's helped, um, and thanks Janet for the question, that was really good. If anybody else has got any other questions, um, please just leave them in the comments section there, and I will endeavour to answer them, or as I've done in this case, when I couldn't answer it, find out what the answer is. Um, if you want to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already done so and hello to the new subscribers I've seen a new um, a few of you come in in the last couple of days welcome aboard uh, I hope you didn't come here to learn how to uh, build you know nice structures and stuff because that's what radio does I just build you know square blocky things so there you go the answers to your question, Janet, and thanks very much for asking. And I've really enjoyed actually trying to find out uh, what the, the physics behind it all was. So thanks again, and I will catch you all next time. Bye.